The upcoming presidential election has the attention of many Americans, but it might also be getting the attention of international internet hackers. Devin Skillian now is in the newsroom with more on this with an update on the developing story about hackers who are targeting the American election system. Pretty disturbing. It's a fascinating story, Karen, as this is unfolding. The Cold War, I think, is thought of as uh, history, but there may be a new front in what you might call a Cold Web War. Yahoo News is reporting that the FBI has found evidence of foreign-based hackers getting into the election databases of at least two states. The report says the FBI Cyber Division issued what's known as a flash alert about cyber intrusions into two state websites this summer. The FBI does not identify the states, but sources are saying that the hackers hit sites in both Illinois and Arizona. In Illinois, hackers might have stolen personal data on as many as 200,000 voters. Now, the FBI believes foreign-based hackers were involved, but they have not been able to conclude if the hackers were what you'd refer to as common criminals, or if it's government-sponsored hackers, perhaps from Russia. Now, if there's concern that hackers could meddle in the upcoming election, the Department of Homeland Security could identify state election systems as critical infrastructure. That would mean that they could then provide federal protection to states that ask for it. But in the meantime, Homeland Security is urging states to take protective measures, like making sure voting machines are not connected to the Internet during the hours in which voting takes place. Uh, with both the FBI and Homeland Security in the alert, states can be expected uh, to be taking additional measures to make the election database as secure as possible, but how secure is that in this day and age? No evidence of any risk right now to the election systems here in Michigan, uh, but the state does have an active cybersecurity program at work, no doubt in a heightened state now. Karen, back to you. All right, thank you.